In the filmmaking process, there are many ethical dilemmas that come up. The issues of the priority of the subject's well-being over a film is one of those dilemmas. Over the past five years, I have had the pleasure to travel to the Dominican Republic and help a community. I am now currently filming a documentary about the people who live there and their lives, and these ethical dilemmas have proven to be an issue for me. Through my research and personal first-hand experience, I find that subjects of a documentary should be number one priority in the filmmaking process. To get a better understanding of this issue, I interviewed Alyssa and Hannah Wiper on their experience in the Dominican Republic and their personal opinion of the matter. Hello, my name is Hannah Wiper. I'm Alyssa Wiper, and this summer will be my fifth year for years to the going to the Dominican Republic. The first part of this issue is whether subjects should be paid for their contribution to the film. Those who are against the idea of paying the subjects believe that it could damage the integrity of the film. When asked about this idea of paying the subjects, Alyssa and Hannah both agreed with the idea of there being a fine line. Alyssa even argued that it might not be necessary to pay the subjects. If this is a true documentary, then they aren't doing anything out of what they would normally do in their daily lives. So, in a way, it doesn't seem necessary that the subjects should be paid for their work. Hannah argued that money can change the way people act. Putting money into the, into the ring kind of throws a kink in things because you might not be getting the true, raw story like you're trying to, especially in a film like this. Um, so I definitely think that these people could use all the money that they can get, but I don't think it would help your film. People change when it comes to money, so if they got paid, the authenticity of the film would be jeopardized. At the end of the day, the subject should be given a cut of the profit. If the documentary were to take off, and to do well, I think it would be fair for the subjects to be reimbursed for their contribution, even if it was just them living out their daily lives. The next part of this dilemma is whether subjects should have control of what is put in the documentary and if they should have a final say in the cut. Again, Alyssa and Hannah both argued that it could delegitimize the film. Alyssa argued that the film wouldn't be completely genuine. I think that if they had access to what was chosen to be put in the film, then it would delegitimize the whole purpose of the documentary. Because if they get to choose what people see of them, then it's not purely genuine. And that's the whole purpose of a documentary. Hannah states that people always want to show their best side, and it should ultimately be up to the filmmaker for the final cut. People always want to put on their best side, always want to put on, when the camera's around, they always want to be on this different type of behavior. But I also think that it's up to your decision as the filmmaker to put what should go into the film. When Alyssa discussed the idea of subjects not wanting crucial clips in the film, she argues that when the subjects see the clip in the film and the importance, they would ultimately come around. If there's a clip that is crucial to the meaning of the documentary and to what the film is really trying to express, I think that it should be included whether or not they really want it in there. Because I think that seeing the film and how crucial this specific part is to, its, to expressing its meaning, they might change their minds. When it came to the safety of the subjects, they both immediately argued that anything that puts human lives at risk should not be put in the film. Any clip that were to put one of the subjects in danger is not worth it to the documentary. How the people that you're doing it with or doing it on, they need to be top priority. Feelings and how you respect people always should go over a project or a film that you're doing, um, even if it jeopardizes the integrity of the film, because um, nothing is more important than people. 
In the end, they both say the subject should be aware of what is being put in the film. Subjects should be kept in the know when they're being filmed. They should know what is going to be done with this film, where it's going to go, who will see it. In the ethical issue of the priority of subjects over the integrity of a film, there are many different options that can lead to different results. Paying subjects could either lead to the subjects opening up more or sharing what they think the filmmakers want to hear. Letting subjects take out crucial scenes because of their safety or disapproval could lead to the film being less successful and censored while also putting the subjects at risk or leaving them angry. I find myself agreeing with Alyssa and Hannah. There are some aspects to the filmmaking process that could make subjects unhappy while ruining the integrity of a film, but when it comes to this ethical dilemma, human life is a whole lot more important than a film. The subjects of the film are what you're making the film on. It's what the film like depends on, and if you're um, taking advantage of them or not being respectful, then that, in a way, hurts the integrity of the film. I agree with the idea that there is a fine line between keeping the film's integrity while also helping the lives of those you are getting involved with. Similar to a lot of ethical dilemmas, there is a gray area. Subjects should be given a cut of the profit of the documentary, but not an upfront payment. Subjects' safety should also be a priority, but crucial parts of the film should be included. There is an importance in keeping the film genuine and truthful while also maintaining safety for the subjects and honoring the integrity of their material. It's easy to talk about the affected lives as numbers when in reality they are human lives. Even this whole video has been referring to them as subjects and not people. In the documentary I'm making, these people are my friends and are human lives, but that's easy to lose sight of when worrying about keeping things truthful and unbiased. In the end, there is no right or wrong answer. There is only a balance of spreading the truth and focusing on what matters.